Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting question from radical equations. So let's get started with our substitutions straight away. I will call this radicand x equal to a cube as we have cube root of x. Here we will be writing radicand 2x minus 3 only equal to b cube and here 12 times x minus 1 can be written as 4 times 3 times x minus 1. Now let me write here substitution is a cube equal to x b cube equal to 2x minus 3. Now we will add these two equations. So we can write a cube plus b cube in LHS and in RHS x plus 2x is 3x minus 3 or we can take 3 common out. So in the bracket we can write x minus 1. So 3 times x minus 1 is our RHS radicant and in LHS it is cube root of a cube. So let me write our equation cube root of a cube plus cube root of b cube equal to cube root of 4 times 3x minus 1. Here we can write a cube plus b cube. So I will write 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now cube root and cube will be over from left hand side. So we can cancel cube root with cube, cube root with cube. So I can write a plus b equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now we will consider cubing both sides. Let me write equation here a plus b equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So I will put power 3 both sides. So let me write here power 3. This side also will write power 3. So cube root and cube will be cancelled out from our left hand side. We will get a plus b whole cube equal to 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now we will take all the terms to LHS. So I can write a plus b whole cube minus 4 times a cube plus b cube. equal to 0. Now we will apply a plus b whole cube formula. So we can write a cube plus b cube plus 3ab times a plus b minus 4a cube minus 4b cube equal to 0. Now a cube minus 4a cube, b cube, minus 4b cube, we can write minus 3a cube, minus 3b cube, then we will write plus 3 times ab times a plus b equal to 0. Now we can take minus 3 common from LHS. So in the bracket we can write a cube plus b cube minus a b times a plus b equal to 0. Or we can write a cube plus b cube minus a b a plus b equal to 0. 
Now we can use a cube plus b cube formula here. I will write here a cube plus b cube minus ab times a plus b equal to 0. Let's apply a cube plus b cube formula here. So we can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab minus ab a plus b equal to 0. Now we have a plus b overall common. So we will take a plus b common out and write a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab minus ab equal to 0 or we can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus 2ab which is one algebraic formula a square plus b square minus 2ab is a minus b whole a square a plus b equal to 0. Now we can use product zero rule and write either a plus b equal to zero or a minus b whole a square equal to zero. So from our first equation we can write a equal to negative b and from our second equation we can write a equal to b with multiplicity 2. So we have a equal to negative b a equal to b. I will write a equal to negative b and a equal to b. So x was a cube and 2x minus 3 was b cube. So I need to consider cubing both sides. I will write here a whole cube equal to minus b whole cube comma b whole cube or I can write a cube equal to minus 1 whole cube is minus 1. So we can take minus out. Then we have b cube. This is minus 1 times b cube or minus b cube. Here we will be writing b cube. So b cube is 2x minus 3. a cube is x. We will write x in place of a cube. We will write b cube equal to 2x minus 3. Here we will write 2x minus 3. Now we can write two equations from here. First one x equal to minus of 2x minus 3. And second equation we can write x equal to 2x minus 3. So let us solve first equation first. I will write x equal to minus of 2x minus 3. Let's expand our RHS. We will get minus 2x plus 3. This is equal to x. Now we will add 2x to both sides. So plus 2x plus 2x plus and minus 2x from RHS will be over. In LHS, x plus 2x will give us 3x. RHS will be 3. Now we have to only divide by 3 both sides to get our first real solution. We will get x equal to 1. Our first solution is x equal to 1. Now we are going to consider second equation x equal to 2x minus 3. Now I will subtract x from both the sides. So minus x minus x. So plus and minus x will be over from left hand side. We will write here 0. 2x minus x will give us x minus 3. Now we have to only add 3 to both sides. 
so plus 3 minus 3 will be over from RHS this time we will get x equal to 3. So we have x equal to 1, x equal to 3, two real solutions. Now we are going to verify both the solutions. So let me write here verification. x equal to 1. Equation is here. We'll begin with LHS. So I can write cube root of 1 plus cube root of 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3. I will get cube root of 1 plus cube root of minus 1. Or I can write cube root of 1 minus cube root of 1. Value will be equal to 0. Now our RHS we will consider cube root of 12 times x minus 1. So cube root of 12 times 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Value will be 0. So we are getting 0 on both the sides. That means x equal to 1 is our true and verified solution. Now the turn of second solution x equal to 3. We will begin with LHS. Cube root of 3 plus cube root of 2 times 3 is 6 minus 3. So I can write cube root of 3 plus cube root of 3 value will be equal to 2 times cube root of 3. Now we will consider RHS. It is cube root of 12 times x minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. We will get cube root of 24. Or we can write cube root of 24. If we will factor, we can write 8 times 3. Will be equal to cube root of 8 times cube root of 3. Cube root of 8 is 2. Value will be 2 times cube root of 3. So LHS is 2 times cube root of 3. RHS is 2 times cube root of 3. Our solution x equal to 3 is true and verified solution. So our final answer becomes x equal to 1 and x equal to 3. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.